candidate for BS in physics, or a candidate for BS in mathematics. The title of this talk is The Fabrication and Characterization of Graphene. <coughs> so, um, I'd like to start off with uh, kind of reviewing a little bit of what Charles talked about. Um, just talking about what graphene is. So, the image that I would like you to get in your head to begin with is um, you writing with a pencil. So, graphene. Um, is a single layer of graphite, which is pencil lead. And um, so uh, pencil lead is a large stack of many, many layers of carbon lattice. When you write with your pencil, all you're doing is basically scraping off layers um, of this stack of lattices, and that's what forms what you write. So if you could imagine um, that you could write so finely that you managed to scrape off just one single um, one single lattice off of this stack, then you would have what we call graphene, um, which is just a single atomic layer um, of this two-dimensional carbon lattice. Why we're interested in graphene is because of the excellent mobility of electrons in it. Um, this is because when um, this material, when we get it down to this um, two-dimensional form, uh, one atom layer thick, the electrons rest on the top of the material and they don't run into any obstructions. So the particular the chemical nature of graphene means that there's no um, obstructions sticking up uh, on top of the surface of the, the, um, the electrons just move across the skaters on the park. Okay? They don't run into anything. And so um, you're able to uh, conduct electricity and heat um, very easily. Uh, this is applicable, um, especially in electronics, where you can see that um, the ability to move electrons quickly and easily uh, will be useful. And you can see pictured here, uh, and you can see pictured here, uh, an example kind of the type of devices you can make um, with graphing, simply a sample uh, between a source and a drain, um, usually with some type of back gate um, line underneath. Um, so our first step was to find graphene. So we began um, with a silicon wafer, with a layer of silicon dioxide on top. Um, and then what we proceeded to do was to um, spin a layer of polyvinyl alcohol, PMA, <coughs> and then PMA on top. And these are both uh, simply viscous polymers. Um, they're just these viscous liquids uh, that we would use um, an industrial spinner to uh, um, revolve our, uh, our wafer here and get a nice uh, clean coating of these on top. So once we've uh, found something under the optical, optical microscope that we think might be graphene, our next step is to confirm it um, because obviously our eyes um, aren't always 100% correct. So what we do, move to next is to use something called Raman spectroscopy uh, to confirm that the material is indeed single layer. What uh, Raman spectroscopy is, is simply um, a device that shines a laser into our material. Um, this laser then interacts with the phonons in the, in the material. And depending on the structure of the material, um, it will resonate with certain vibrational modes. And these come back to us as a small wavelength, sh uh, small shift in certain wavelengths of the laser. Um, and so uh, here's a graph from the Spectrometer. Um, over here, you can see the intensity of the returning um, wavelengths. And here is kind of the wave number uh, of the, the wavelengths that have been uh, changed relative to the initial laser uh, wavelength. 